Ah, good morning. This is your crazy old coot going to talk to you about adding a video card to a Windows 8 system. Now, the problem may not be prevalent that I ran into, but let's get a little bit of back history. Let's do a little rewind. Four years ago, I bought an HP Pavilion uh, to play Oblivion. Okay, and of course, straight out of the box, it wasn't going to play Oblivion. Uh, so, and I knew that. So, I had bought a Sapphire Radian 4830 um, video card to throw in there, and a Thermaltake Black Widow 450 watt power supply. Put all that stuff in, and it worked, and it ran for four years. No problems. I think in four years I had to reinstall the software once. But okay, so after four years the computer system is getting a little bit dated. And, um, and then I was playing Skyrim by then and it worked okay, but you know I couldn't do ultra high settings and I couldn't, you know, if it get real busy it, it would lag a little bit. So the first thing I decided to do is try to get a um, new video card. So I got one of these and uh, put that in and that definitely improved things. But I was doing research on this. I found that um, that the PCI Express 16, that's a third generation version 3, where the old HP Pavilion only had version 1. So literally that card could throw out more data than the HP Pavilion could handle. And uh, the CPU, when I did some bench testing and stuff, the CPUs were scoring low. So I said, well, it's time to bite the bullet. And so, and I had such good luck with that system, I bought another HP. And uh, this time I bought an HP Envy and with an AMD six core in it and uh, set it up and you know first I was going to test the system for a week or so to make sure that there was no bugs before I started hacking into it and it worked pretty good um, the card that came with it it came with a card it was an AMD Radeon 7570 which is right here this card here it came with and um, you could play Skyrim on medium, but it was iffy. Okay, and I and again I knew that that card wasn't in this. This card here is weaker than my forty eight thirty. So just be aware of it, and I was aware of it. So I took my seventy eight thirty out of the old HP Pavilion and finally stuck it into my. Um, the HP Envy and the screen went blank. And I go, oh man, what's going on? And of course, the first thing is the power supply that came with it. This thing right here didn't hack it, and this is a, but this is a a 460 watt power supply. So I thought, ah man, my Black Widow is only a 450 watt and it handled it but still I said yeah no that's got an AM that's got a bigger much more powerful CPU it could be so I went and I bought a uh, another thermal take and it's a uh, 550 watt gold and uh, that's right there if you can read upside down and uh, put that in Put the, you know, put the 4830 back, I mean the 7850 back in, and boom, still black. I'm going, what the heck's going on? So now I'm searching the internet, and I've searched quite a bit before I came across an article, and I should have researched it. Maybe I'll put it in the notes, link it or whatever, where I found this answer. The problem is, is... Instead of a BIOS now, they have a UEFI. And in that UEFI, there's a thing called Secure Boot. And 
if the secure boot is turned on and it won't take another card and so I had to go into the UEFI setup which is basically it's a BIOS it looks exactly like a BIOS and uh, change the setting from uh, secure boot to legacy boot and I'm going to show you quickly how to do that okay now um, this is going to be a little difficult I got to change chain yeah, camera angles. Oh, this is not going to be good. Anyway, so what you got to do is you got to go into, you, you take your thing and put it up here, bring it down to settings, and then you go to change PC settings. Then you get this, and then you here's where it gets. You get over into general, and then you go all the way down to advanced startup. Please wait. Now you go to troubleshoot. Advanced options. Now you finally get to UEFI firmware settings. Now you click this and you actually do a restart. And the computer restarts. Do -de do 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 do. Now please note that the, I mean this is an HP Envy system. If you have a different system, it may be a little bit different. You go to uh, Computer Setup, F10, hit Enter, and here you are. Now, you, know, you see a thing that says Security, and then you go down here, Secure Boot Configuration. Now, I've already fixed this, so it doesn't really show it, but uh, you have to shut off the Secure Boot and turn in the uh, legacy will automatically turn on and that's how you fix the uh, the problem if you're trying to put in a uh, video card in a Windows 8 and uh, it don't work if you get a blank screen and you know the video card is good like I did because I put it back into my HP pavilion and it worked fine so you have a good evening bye